But I'm originally from South Africa. I was raised in a, right at the bottom of Africa, in Cape Town, South Africa. And I got into chiropractic. I got kicked in the back. I was a professional rugby player. Yeah, it's kind of a rough kind of sport and uh, got my finger bust up. That woke me up. The coach said, just wrap it up, man. It was torn off, it was ripped out. I mean, the whole joint was just dislocated, fractured. Yeah. I said, well, just wrap it up and get back on the field. Are you crazy? <laughs> I think of these kids today and they get a little blood and they go to the blood burn and we just carried on, carry on. Got infected. But fortunately, my dad was a medical doctor. And so I knew they knew nothing about health, <laughs> nothing. They'd say, it's all in your head. I said, Dad, it's in my back. <laughs> no, 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 it's in your head. <laughs> Killed me. And so I went on this little quest because I thought, man, it's not in my back. And I know it's not, the pain's in my back. There's something going on. And I didn't know that there was this major discrimination against chiropractic. I didn't even know the word chiropractic, to be honest with you. And I didn't know that um, the federal government, our own government doesn't like chiropractic. I didn't know that. And so we've had a battle. We're only now getting them into the armed forces. Can you imagine they're carrying 75 pounds and they're walking around and some of them are just crippled and all they need to go to a chiropractor. And you know the funny thing is, the research they did on pregnant women, they did it in the armed services on chiropractic and it worked. And they said, no, it doesn't. <laughs> what is going on in this place? So I, I left Italy, came to America to play rugby and I played professionally. So then I played for America and small little guys played for America. And rugby is a mind, you play here, you got to be smart. You use big boys next to you. See, little guys use big guys. You don't, don't take on a big guy, the mass. You know, that's, you learn that in physics. Mass doesn't translate. And so I came here in 1978. And my back was still, I say, I got adjusted. Got my atlas adjusted and my back pain went away. I couldn't figure that out. My atlas is the top vertebra, you know? And couldn't figure that out. And, but but uh, we didn't have these in 78. But you, could, you can understand if I have nice flexibility there, it's all beautiful. But if you get some locked up, you can see that that doesn't move. It, it, it stays locked up. I mean, what don't you get about that? But that's not chiropractic. Because chiropractic is a neurological, it's nerves, nerves, neurology, nervous system. What I'm going to share with you tonight is, where is your immune system in your body? Where is your immune? The one that says, this has been touched by somebody else. Okay, let me lick it and find out. Where's the antibodies? Where is this immune system generated? Where? Okay, so that when they give you a vaccine, they give these little kids vaccines, they punch it into the blood system. Is the blood system where the immune system is? No, it's not. The blood system is just the freeways. That's all it is. It's just freeways running through. So what tells the guys, the white blood cells, the, come on, baby, we got, woo, code red, bam. Here he comes, take him out. Come on, Troy, take him out. I met Troy when he was like 270 pounds. Huge. He was freaky. People would go on the plane. They'd touch him. And he, he, he had a shrink because he just got tired of getting touched. Everybody was touching him. 270 pounds, I'm five foot eight. But I always told him, brains is here, baby. It ain't here. So because I had an open mind, because my father was into medicine, and fortunately I was raised on a wine farm. Those are good combinations, aren't they? Bad combinations, bad. Chiropractic and wine farming, good combination. Medicine and wine farming is emergency stuff, bad combination. 
I had a little girl yesterday, she's got kidney problems. This is what the medical fraternity says. They say, do nothing until the kidney collapses, and when she has kidney failure, then we'll do something about it. I said, no can do. I know some herbs we can give that little girl, and we're gonna stimulate the kidneys to move. Had a little kid. I've been in practice 31 years now. <coughs> open heart. Little kid with an open heart. They said, uh, bring the kid in and take the kid away. When you have a crisis, call me. Then we'll do something about it. I mean, it's just crisis. What do you, you know, it's, it's like, I often think of these poor medical doctors in Iraq. They come in, it's code blue, red, whatever. I mean, they stitching arms in, limbs, they're taking limbs out. They, I mean, they're loving. This is what they're trained for. Now, they, now our government says, okay, we're gonna pull them out. Now, what the hell are they gonna do? It's great to pull them out, but what are they gonna do? Where are they gonna get the juice, right? That adrenaline that they were designed for, where are they gonna get that from? In, out here, in Portland. It's gonna be, uh, some are gonna get depressed. And you can see it happening. A lot of our armed forces, they, they got, you can't stuff, you can't just shoot it up. 22 injections, 22 immunizations. For what? That's what I'm trying to say. Who is out there? This little girl's coming to us with the kidneys. I said, okay, game on. Because I'm quite competitive. I don't know if you know that. You got a problem? You got a problem? I'm going to sort it out. And if I can't, I'm going to find out. Because I always kept in touch with my professors, even at this age. They call, they, you know what's funny? That little kid with the open heart? Open heart, come back. Yeah? When he went back, the heart was closed. You say, that's impossible. Well, yes. In my mind, it's totally impossible. Are you kidding me? But fortunately, in the kid's mind, it wasn't. So <laughs> there's miracles. You're a miracle. Do you know what's going on in your immune system right now is a miracle. You've just lost the wonder of living in America. I'm African. She ain't African. I'm African. I was born in Africa. You born in Africa? No. I'm African-American. And I'm open, you see. And that's what, why you're here tonight. To learn something that I learned in 1986. Because I didn't tell you, my back pain would go away with an adjustment and then it would come back. I couldn't figure out why it would go like this. I'd feel great for three months and then whoosh, I'd drop into it. And I said, man, I can't stabilize. I can't stabilize. See? Now I'm going to show you what this little substance this little thing, I, I got into my, I, I married a pharmacist. Imagine that, eh? I married a pharmacist. And uh, I said, uh, we ain't doing that. She's from South Dakota. Those are dangerous girls. <laughs> Swear to God, at 12 years old, they can back up a trailer with a horse in. Back it up, back it up. Come on, 12 years old. My daughter could drive, my wife could drive a trailer and she was a state champion in barrel racing. I don't know what that is, but but those girls are real girls. They kind of wear, wear boots. They don't wear sand, like flip-flops. Those are bad. You meet those girls, they're dangerous. But the cowboy boots. And so I told them, I'm the boss. <laughs> well, that's cause she ain't here. <laughs> <laughs> we run our office the same way. If you're not smiling, you ain't happy. Cause I make a few jokes that I actually think are funny. <laughs> Okay? Listen, you could be at a proctologist convention. A proctologist, looking up your little foofy valve. Do you know what that is? Okay, so you got the picture. I mean, you could be at a proctologist convention. You don't want that, do you? Come on now. I always say, if you're not happy as a chiropractor, don't think of becoming a proctologist. Excuse me. I can't get a good view. <laughs> Could you shift? Poof! Whoa! Easy, fella. Easy. You know that little foofy valve is the most important thing you have. You do know that, right? Your, 
Your elimination system is the most important system that you have. You know, the brain said, uh, the eye said, I'm the most important system. If you can't see where you're going, if you can't see what you're doing, the eyes run the body. And the, <laughs> the, the, the heart said, no, I run the body. If you didn't feel that heartbeat. See? The ear said, no, I run the body. If there wasn't for balance, you wouldn't be here. And they go on a big fight. Stomach says, I run the body. If I process all the food and all they see, they're listening. They listen at this. Age. <laughs> Stomach said, I run the body. But the little sphincter, that little shoot, says, I run the body. And they go, no, you don't. Yes, I do. He said, I'll shut it down. And so the sphincter shut everything down. Well, you know the story, right? The eyes got a little foggy. <laughs> Couldn't see. The ears got a little infected and lost your balance. The stomach, oh, the stomach didn't feel like eating anymore. We got woozy. And so that little sphincter said, I told you I run the body. And that's the story. That little sphincter runs the body. So your elimination cycle is so important to your health. If you get that tonight, you got the whole message. Chiropractic is about the central nervous system and about the elimination, which is the toxicity aspect. 